clutch trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Here I am driving across Highway 20 in Indiana. <clears throat> Just didn't feel like paying the Indiana toll road, you know? If I got time on a trip and don't have to run a toll road, I'll go out of my way to avoid it, to avoid throwing my money away. So, uh, Highway 20 is not that bad, just a lot of little slowdowns through these small towns in Indiana because you're driving through Amish country. Yep, and I've already seen quite a few horse and buggies out here this morning. <laughs> After all, it's daytime, you know, so Ezekiel and Jebediah and all those guys are out doing all their chores and stuff. And so anyway, yeah, I want to do an update real quick about uh, my steering wheel cover and spinner knob. I did it up, uh, yeah, I had to cut that last one, my fault. I, I ended up, I bought the wrong size, is what it came down to. And uh, usually I bought all my steering wheel covers from the Iowa 80 in the Fuel Island building. And all of the ones they have in there are the 18 inch wheels. And. Uh, when I was in the main building, that's where I bought the other one, it didn't dawn on me that they might have a larger size as well, and they did all in the bottom rack. They had the 20 inch wheel size. So I, I had bought the wrong size, my fault, and I cut it stupidly, which you shouldn't do with these. Um, and then my spinner knob that was gonna match that steering wheel cover, um, I had driven up to DeWitt, Iowa to pick up my load and back down with that new steering wheel knob. Well, the distance between the knob where you grab it with your fingers and underneath where it hits the uh, mount part was, was had hardly any clearance and I wrapped my fingers all the way around it. I kept pinching my fingers in it. Ow, ow, ow! And I'm like, okay, well this isn't going to work. So I knew I was going to have to return that and I had thrown the packaging away, but Iowa 80 was pretty good about it. I had still gave them all the screws back, you know, the little spacer part in the middle, everything. I said, look, it's all here in this little, you know, cord bag. I don't have the original packaging, but will you still take it back? And they said, yeah, we will. And I was like, well, that's awesome. So I went and found another spinner knob that I'm using now that was half price. So I paid 30 bucks for the original one, only paid 15 for this one, and that still gave me 15 bucks back to put towards another steering wheel cover. I still had almost $20 in petrol which were one points. And uh, so I pulled out another 15 and was able to get the new steering wheel cover, which I'm using right now. Uh, so even though I screwed up, bought the wrong size, cut it, and had to throw it away by turning in the other spinner knob, getting a cheaper one, and then getting some more points out, I still didn't end up having to pay anything in cash to get my new steering wheel cover and new spinner knob. So we can show you videos of some of that. Okay, now that I'm not moving, here's a, a better shot of my newer, newer spinner knob. See, the other one, it didn't have enough room between here and here and it was like mounted on top of the, the part that goes across the wheel and my fingers were getting crushed in there and I was like ouch 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 so this one works better and it was half the price so not bad and then here's my steering wheel cover all black except for the little blue stripe at the bottom and yep if you can kind of see the texture on there it's just a little bit fuzzy it's a little fuzzy oh yeah so that that, that makes you comfort and nice and warm for the winter months little, Little bit fuzzy, little bit fuzzy, and I've just gotten so, so used to these spinner knobs now that I just love them. So there you go, points used up and put to good use. Yeah, I like this one. It's just just a little bit fuzzy, <laughs> so it's going to be nice for winter months, kind of warm and everything. And I'm sure by summer this one will be kind of worn out, and I'll go back to a leather one instead. And I like my new spinner knob. It fits around the steering wheel cover. I had to kind of work at it. I got it on there and so now it's on and bolted on good unlike the old one I had been using I had held on with just zip ties which I wasn't wild about so I've got one that's actually bolted on like it's supposed to be so there you go just a quick little update on my steering wheel cover and spinner knob oh and do want to mention yeah I got a comments from a couple of people uh, after that initial video saying well hey uh, some states those are still illegal and they uh, I think somebody mentioned Washington State and that may be true. The chance of getting an inspection there where they're gonna actually look at that is pretty slim. The other thing is too, 
I can play ignorant and say I wasn't aware. If I do get an inspection there and they see that, I'll just say, look, I'll just take it off. I can take it off, and then once I leave that state, I'll put it back on. Because in this video I was talking about a lot of cashing in points at the Iowa 80 for the steering wheel cover and the spinner knob and all that, uh, I have to show this too. I finally got myself a newer Atlas. Now this isn't the newest one because you see it's 2020, uh, but they had these on sale at Sap Brothers in Peru, Illinois the other day uh, because it's last year's. It was on sale for only $17.50. I have a video I did like a, a long time ago where I was going to buy a new one, but they wanted like 80 bucks for the new one when it came out. And I'm like, yeah, no, Rand McNally, you've lost your mind. So I used uh, points because I had Sap Brothers points. Outside of TA and Petro, the only one I'm kind of loyal to is Sap Brothers. For one, they have one right there in Cheyenne, so I fill up there a lot. And I get a lot of my work done there on the truck in Cheyenne. So I rack up a lot of points that way uh, on my Sap Brothers card. So that's why when I was talking about my tire video, I was saying I could have used about 200 bucks in points from either Sap Brothers or TA and Petro. But I did get myself a newer, at least it's just a year old, Motor Carrier, At Carrier Atlas was only $17.50 and I was able to use my points from Sap Brothers. So my other one was like a 2014 or a 20, it was old. It was like way out of date. So at least I'm up to date with that. Well, just had to do an update on my steering wheel uh, cover and knob that I got with points at the Iowa 80 there. Since it all kind of went to hell uh, after everything else went good uh, on that uh, on Thursday. There when I got my physical and everything else done. So just kind of an update to that video, just a real quick one to let you know. Yeah, I did get a solution and it's all working out now well, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, please subscribe as always. Uh, like and comment if you would like to. I get to your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver. Ring the bell for notification. Check out our coffee and Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. And otherwise, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Real tomato ketchup, Eddie?